Okay, gang, let's work on our arms, triceps and biceps. We'll start with uh, two dumbbells. And you can stand or sit to do this. Uh, a good old bicep curl. We have some alternatives here. We can do just a traditional bicep curl, palms up just like this. You can add a little bit of a twist. Start with your dumbbells, kind of with your palms facing in, dumbbells sideways, and just give them a little twist as you pull up. Again, keep your posture tall, don't sway your body. And make the muscles do the work. Don't just get swinging like this. You want to go slow and control. So that's your bicep curl. Um, quite often in class, we will add some excitement to the bicep curl by adding a little step back. So what we call like, you know, start to combine some of the exercises, combinations, makes it more interesting. Or you could even do like a leg raise. Get creative. There's no one right or wrong way to do these, as long as your form is good. Okay, you can also do that in a chair, you know, up for standing. Maybe I've tired you out already. Uh, the next one, for the triceps. You've got some options here. Just like when we did our back pull, we're gonna get in the same position. We did our one-arm row, and we're gonna get our right arm up behind you, and just extend it up like that. Now notice that all that's moving is everything below my elbow, forearm. So nice and slow, fully extended, not this. How many times have I yelled at my boot camp classes, don't do it that way. Get that arm up, leave it up. Then of course you just switch over, to the other side, up we go. Good. The other option is to have a seat, just like this. Take your one dumbbell, hold on to the dumbbell, bring it down behind your head. Now, you're gonna need a heavier dumbbell, obviously, or you can go to a single arm. Sometimes I see people holding it, that's fine. Again, this is staying, this area is staying stationary. Just that forearm above the elbow is moving. It doesn't take long, you start to feel, feel the burn! Oh yeah! That's great. Now, then of course the other arm. You get the idea. Another one that we uh, seldom do, but it's good if you really want to focus on the bicep, what we call a concentration curl. So you get a nice and wide stance with your legs. Put your back of your elbow on the inside of your knee. Bring that down. Curl up just like that. Oh yes. So that's the concentration curl because it's fully concentrating on the bicep. And the other side. Yes. Now triceps and biceps are, are different when you work them out because with the triceps, back of the arms, I find that muscle really gets tired out and you really feel it. The next day, if you haven't been working it, you really feel it. Biceps, I find it's different. Like they, they don't seem to get as tired. You don't feel it. So I enjoy working the triceps more than I do the biceps just because you get that feedback really quickly. Your body say, hey, we just did something here. <laughs> so, but it's important to work them both. The last one, I caution you, don't do this if you uh, have any elbows or shoulder issues. But this is the good old, you just get on your chair, bring yourself forward, keep your knees bent, and just do a little dip. Try that first. If that feels not too bad, extend your legs out. That's a lot harder, okay? Bench dip. Some people don't like to recommend that anymore. Um, if, it, if you can do it safely with your knees bent and it feels okay from your joints perspective, it can be an effective exercise, especially when you uh, have limited resources at home. Okay, so that's arms.